Welcome to Rudel's Roundup. Well, anyone that follows the show will know that there's one event that I like to go to more than the others. And when the sun is shining, it makes it even better. Yeah, you guessed it. We're here at the Mitsubishi Motors Badminton Horse Trials. I mean, there's only one winner, you yeah. know, and, uh, and the rest will someday we might, we might win it. But um, at, at the moment, we'll enjoy it. Oh, I feel amazing. I mean, that is just the best feeling in the world, I have to say. There's nothing that tops this. The goal when I, you know, first at the surgery was to ride here, so the idea of coming here did its job. I'm down here where they're setting up for the trotter. But while this is going on, behind the cameraman, there are people galloping around the Mitsubishi Motors Cup course. We're going to catch up with some of the winners, but why don't you check out some of the action? Mitsubishi Motors Cup has drawn to a close and you can hear the crowds, they're loving it because they're getting to get their prizes in front of this amazing backdrop of Badminton House. I'm going to head up to the press room where there'll be a conference and I'll get to interview them, but you check out the winners. Sophie Walker, you, well, it's the Mitsubishi Motors Cup and you have just won it. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, it's just, it's taking a while to sink in. It's all so surreal, but yeah, I'm feeling incredible and feeling amazing. So, and I have to have a word with you. That was some dressage score. If I could get my horse in the twenties, that would be quite nice. Is that a usual kind of score for yeah, she ha she was very good at dressage. She was a pure dressage mare ma before I got her. I got her four years ago, but she didn't jump before I got her. So the jumping part <laughs> took a bit of time, but we, we're there now. So I think we can say you've got it nailed. It's absolutely fine. Um, and she's called Rhapsody, but you call her, if it's a good name, Princess at Home. Um, is that because she's got diva-like qualities or because she's just amazing? Well, she's amazing and she likes flicking her little toes. She, <laughs> deep, deep brown, she's like, oh, what are you putting me? <laughs> but, uh, no, she is a she is my little princess, really. <laughs> and um, Mitsubishi Motors Cup. I mean, can you put into words what it's like to ride out on the hallowed turf, to be galloping past that house? I mean, it's every girl's dream, surely. Yeah, it is absolutely incredible. Like to be riding around like the same like turf and like the same track that you know Michael Young will be riding like in two days' time. It's just it's just it's amazing. Hancock. Katie Hancock, well, you are the winner of the 100. And before I let you talk, I need to talk about this dressage score. You finished on a score of 24. Your closest rival came in at 31.8. So I think we can safely say you smashed it. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm absolutely ecstatic at the moment. I can't believe it. I really can't. To come here and get a dressage score like that is absolutely unreal, honestly. And Mind. your horse knows to pull it out of the bag at the right time. Did you did they do you arrive here? Were you nice and calm? Was it all okay or did it take you by surprise how good he was? Well, to be fair, I came last year with great expectations. It went shockingly wrong. <laughs> so after last year I kinda went, right, that's it. He qualified, he won at his regionals. So I thought, you know what, we'll come back, but 
I'm just going to go and have fun. I want the week off, so I'm going to go. We'll have the week off. We'll go shopping. No pressure. We'll, you know, we'll just chill out. It'll be fine. So I, I literally came with the, I just want to enjoy it this year. I battered myself last year because it went so badly wrong. So, yeah, he, I mean, he was totally chilled out. We came he ca on the Monday afternoon, Tuesday, rode him twice. He, he felt fine. He felt really, really good. Um, and then, yeah, he just totally pulled it out of the bag today. I'm, yeah, still in amazement, really. So. <laughs> well, he did, he did it at the right moment. Yeah. And talking of that cross country, um, quite a few run outs. It was quite a bit tougher this year, people are saying. How did you find it? Because obviously you were here last year. It's a championship course. And I think, to be fair, I wouldn't have wanted it any easier because at the end of the day, you come here, you want to know if you're going to, if you're going to win, not that I even thought about that. You want to know that you've, you've had to ride something to win it. So it, it did ask a lot of questions out there, but I think it deservedly needed to ask a lot of questions out of there. So yeah, I, to be in all honesty, I, knowing that I was in the lead going into cross country is not really what you want to know. <laughs> so you know that you're going to ride every single fence. Um, but it, yeah, it, it, did ride it rode some of them a little bit harder than others but i just attacked it and i think that's what it wanted it wanted yeah. you to attack every single fence and, and that was all i was going to do he's full irish draft and i had to i was never going to make the time if i didn't so well that's good tips for anyone coming here next year to ride it attackingly and i'm going to ask you put you on the spot um who's your money on for the uh, for the four star for the big one Michael Young. It's got to be, hasn't it? To be fair, we watched him do the, the Rolex Kentucky, obviously, the night before on the on the iPad. And I was like, that. do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to ride, go out there, ride exactly how he's done it. I'm going to tack it all the way and just have some like <laughs> trust in my horse and hope that he pulls it out of the bag. And do you know what he did? So, yeah. Amazing. So your second top tip, ride like Michael Young. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Katie, I think you are brilliant. Thank you so much for talking to us. I love it. She rides like Michael Young. She wins the 100 here at Badminton. Congratulations. <laughs> What a brilliant win. You must Thank be delighted. Thank you. you for oh, talking to us. Thank you. <laughs> One of the lovely things about badminton is you can come down and see all of these amazing horses just grazing away. And I have spotted a friend of mine, uh, the lovely Georgie Tapner. You can always tell a Tapner person because they're in red. Georgie's like, get away from me. Get off my... I don't want to be on camera. Georgie, how's it going? Yeah, excited. It's good. good. Yeah, it's very excited. Um, this is this horse's first time. I think it's quite nice coming here with a horse for the first time because there's no great expectations. You can just come in enjoy it rather than you know, thinking oh last year this happened yeah. or it's completely new and so what will be will be and um, for the people at home who don't know who this is take us through who this lovely beast is this is Vinir Kamira, uh, Tilly we call her at home. Um, she's owned by Trevor Dickens and his family. Um, she was previously ridden by Izzy Taylor and Paul took over the ride two years ago now. Okay, so big big step up for her. She seems very chilled out. There's, I mean, they're setting up for trot-ups, loads going on. She just wanted, wants to eat grass. She's very grass orientated. <laughs> she is one of the horses we have at home that lives out as much as we, poss yeah. we possibly can keep her at. And she does eat grass all the time. She'd rather eat grass than her hard feet. And nice. um, I know you very well. So you, I mean, you will be looking after these horses. They will not want for anything. But you also have to manage your husband. Um, how is he? Come on, give us the insight. Is he Thank calm? <laughs> is he laid back? Because he seems very laid back at these big events. Does he get nervous? Is he chilled out? Do you have to lock him away, make sure he's, he's not up to anything? I have to make sure he focuses because sometimes he gets a little distracted by other things. Um, you know, like what he'll be wearing for trot up and things. I have to kind of <laughs> curb him and remind him it's not all about just the trot up. That's it for this half. Join us after the break for more from the Mitsubishi Motors Babington Horse Trials. Welcome back from the break. Well, I'm very excited because I'm out on course here at Badminton and joined by the brilliantly talented international eventer, Nick Gauntlet. And you're on a course walk, so perfect time to chat to you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Um, now, I don't know if many people know this, but I'm not actually a top four-star event rider, but I've walked the course and um, I love it. It's like a back to the old days, big, bold. And would I be right in saying that? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I think Giuseppe's been really clever, actually. I think that um, some, of the, some of the really tough 
questions in the past have possibly been backed off a little bit, but to compensate for that, he's really toughened up on some of perhaps some of the fences that have been a little bit easier in the past, making it a really big, really tough really intense badminton actually yeah I think we're in for a good day's sport um, and I think the questions start at the Swindon designer outlet mounds where you've got the logs in um, it looks actually quite easy but I, the striding can be a bit weird in there I think um, I think not many riders would agree it looks easy but um, <laughs> I think that I think that's a really really clever fence and and I think we're all very glad that the ground's going to be fast and, and good ground today and I think there'd be a few people begging for a long route if that wasn't there I think it's such a control of every part of the, the horse and rider. We've, if you're not in perfect control of your body and the horse isn't listening to how you're balancing the horse with their body, you don't stand a chance of getting back to 12B. You run up a very steep slope. Horses jump off that steep slope very, very well because all their power is in their hind leg. But then they've got to land from that, be really balanced, turn a really tight turn, and I think the fence judge might be busy picking up flags there as the day goes on. Oliver Townend, big punch in the air, a kiss to the crowds in the time, out there first. What an incredible round. You must be so pleased. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? Yeah. Um, you know, he's 17 years old, and for me, this is definitely his last badminton. Um, he's just been an exceptional horse, and I'm just pleased that he can go out on, uh, on the performance that we all remember him doing. <laughs> That is extraordinary. I cannot believe that. It's so good. Michael Young, clear at badminton with Sam. That is the best horse in the world, isn't he? That is for me really the best horse in the world. Um, with him feels everything very easy. Um, you have to always very concentrate, very focused. Um, that you manage everything, everything very good, and you prepare everything good. But in the end, he had to do the job, and he make it very easy. And I'm absolutely proud of him. You give him so many pats, and he's so nimble, and he, he just you seem such a perfect partnership. Yeah, really. I know him from from uh, 11 years now, and uh, that's a really, really good partnership. I trust him. He trusts me, and uh, yeah. Ben Hobday, how much does it mean to you to be standing here having just gone round Babington with the one and only Super Cobb? Absolutely amazing <laughs> and uh, relieved at the same time. Um, very proud of the horse and, uh, and all the team who have worked very hard to, to get us here. And um, I have to say, you are the first man to ever ride with two horses round Babington because there's a little, little person sticking out the back of here, which people will have noticed on the way round. means a lot to you to be um, wearing this little chap. What's it about? Yeah, that's uh, Wilbury Wonder Pony. Um, he's the um, mascot of uh, Hannah Francis's charity um, that gives people in a very difficult situation a chance to in enjoy, um, you know, the, the last wishes as such. Um, She's an amazing girl who, who works really hard and is, is very strong and uh, I'm very proud to be a part of such an amazing charity. Zara Tyndall, if um, I was going to give a prize for the person who looked like they're having the most fun out there, I think I'd give it to you because you just, it looked amazing. I loved it. He was a little bit keen early, um, so I couldn't quite just let him, you know, he's being a bit, bit, um, bit confident yeah. um, early, so I couldn't quite let the handbrake off and just, he's quite, he is quite nippy, but... Um, he saved me a couple of times, um, definitely the Vicarage V, and I, as I took <laughs> off, I went, I'm so sorry. So I'm so sorry, mate. Um, he does always manage to get a leg out, doesn't he? He stays so straight, and I was just a bit too off it. I had a great shot at the one before, and I just got him back a bit too much, so you've just got to have power there and keep him straight, and, you know, those, those ones that just run and jump for you, he... He's like, okay, I'll jump it, you know. Yeah, he just like, seems Hang to on. give everything to you, doesn't he? Love Trev. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I'm now chatting to a man who almost made it look as good as Michael Young out there, Clifton Lush. He's maybe getting on in age, but he's not showing it, is he? You would not know that little fellow is 17 years old. Uh, and he's one fiery little redhead, we call him. And was there any moments out there you just... Did you get to love it? Were there any tougher moments? Uh, as much as it may look like sometimes you're having fun, um, I think it's important that you don't. You, you know, we've got a job to do. It's serious out there. You need to stay focused. You need to ride your lines. Um, you need to judge your pace. And uh, if you make a mistake, it can be, it can be a big thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're quite close together. Mm. Oh, no. The, she's oh, got no, to go they've got to do away the... from home now. Joined by the wonderfully talented Alex Fatian. Alex, uh, we just had a little chat off camera. One of the main reasons I want to interview you is because most, unlike most riders who've gone the long way around the Vicarage V after seeing how many accidents it's caused, you were like, I'm going to man up yes. and jump that. Yeah. And you've jumped it beautifully. Yeah, no, I'm thrilled. Um, plan when I walked it was for, to definitely go the straight route. I actually did prefer the straight route to the long route uh, when I walked it. Uh, I watched this morning and definitely chickened out. Like, immediately was like, no, going the long way. Uh, and I jumped the new pond, and Pi was just jumping so well and so strongly. Um, I it was coming down the hill, and I said to myself, come on, Alex, man up. <laughs> this, is, this is the moment. You're, you're going to absolutely do it. We gave, gave Pi a little slap on the shoulder and say, come on, rev, rev yourself up, rev myself up. Um, and uh, hit the sweet spot and jumped it, so I'm, I'm thrilled. Cross Country Day is over, and now it's the final test. It's show jumping, and uh, I have to be quietly because I'm in the mix zone. Now, this is where we come to interview all the riders, and if you can just swing the camera here, you've got some few famous faces. Lizzie Greenwood Hughes, you've got a piggy French down there who's doing radio badminton because she's out of, out of games at the moment because she's pregnant, uh, and then some very famous journalists. Uh, you will probably have all read Horse and Hound Girls. Everyone's here. So uh, I'm going to now interview some of the riders and wait and see who the winner is. Tina Cook, if I had said to you, finishing on your dressage school here at Badminton, I mean, what a result. God, that's what you strive for all the time. And coming here with this horse, even though he pulled out a personal best at Burley, we thought that was possibly his career best because he can be quite naughty in the one day events. He doesn't like dressage very much, <laughs> so he can embarrass me. Um, but he's a super jumper and a real galloper, and, and this course was really made for him from that point of view. I watched your cross country with your daughter. Isabel and I were like, we were on tenter hooks, weren't we? But she did pretty well, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she was brilliant. Um, did you know you were the fastest of the day? I know. I just like to <laughs> shock people occasionally. <laughs> I know. Most of my friends have been laughing a lot at that. And Brad, show jumping, I mean, that was an extraordinary. He just looked like he was trying every step of the way. He has. He's come out of it very, very well. You know, he's a horse that has physical difficulties. You know, he has kissing spines. You know, I spend my whole time managing him so that he can be as physically as supple as possible. And then he's come out after the gruelling cross-country yesterday. I just rode him for 10 minutes before the trot-up, and he trotted up beautifully, and has come here like that. I'm just so proud of him. He's so tough, and he digs really deep. I'm actually a little bit emotional. Third at Babington, one of my mates. Um, Gemma, oh my goodness, that was the most astonishing show jumping around. How are you feeling? What a stupid question. Yeah, I, I literally can't describe it. I am so happy. I can't even describe to you how happy I am with my horse. I'm so proud of him. Um, and I just feel like I've watched you ride Spike and grow with him. Um, and just jumping that Vicarage V, there's a photo going around of you that just says it all. I mean, he was foot perfect, just astonishing. You two are the best partnership. How are you, like, how, can you put into words what you feel about him? Uh, he's my soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> I love him to bits. He's awesome. Um, yeah, we had the most, oh my God, I <laughs> We had the most amazing ride yesterday. He just jumped everything. You're making me cry, <laughs> <laughs> Um Yeah, and then today to come out and jump a clear out is awesome. 
Um, I'm going to say these words. You're third at badminton, only behind Michael Young and Andreas. I mean, I mean, those are guys. The Rolex Grand Slam has gone, and you will go down in history now. Come third in that. I'm actually crying, mate. I'm just going to hug you. I can't say enough brilliant things about how good you are. Well done, mate. Well oh, you're done. worse than me. <laughs> Andreas. Um, so these words, second at badminton. Is that sinking in? <laughs> No, I think that comes later on. I'm just so, so happy mm -hmm. and so impressed about my lovely horse. Yeah. I was really unlucky in the warm-up. I lost two times the front show. Second, le second time was the third last fence, only one horse to go. And we decided, <laughs> okay, there's no time anymore, so the ground is good, soft enough. So we have to try without, and I thought, like, no, can't, can't be. And he, he gave more than everything. So you show jumped with no front shoes on? His left front shoe off, yes. Right. Michael Young, um, you've just won the Rolex Grand Slam. You've just won badminton. I want to ask you about your horse. How much do you love him right now? I love him not, not just because of this week, he is always very fantastic, he gave me a, a very very good feeling in the, in the cross country always, in the dressage, in the jumping, he's a, I'm very very proud of him, he's a really good friend, we had a really really good partnership, he's a special horse but I know him now from, from many years, from when he was really young and uh, it's a really special moment now. Well, following a roller coaster of a day and a brilliant win for Michael Young. And finally, that elusive Rolex Grand Slam has gone. They've just retired the fabulous Clifton Promise, who was Jock Paget's badminton winner here in 2013. Well, that's it from another Rudel's Roundup at Badminton. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I'll see you next time.